All right, welcome back, you guys. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is Divine Masculine Silence. So, like you saw, I keep telling y'all about these karmic endings. I cannot make this kind of stuff up. But Divine Masculine is walking away. That was the first two cards to come out that day. But let's see what they want to say to this karmic and what they want to say to you. They're processing their emotions, so they still might be silent about all of this. They're regretting a lot of things. They're frustrated about a lot. So they're probably still not going to reach out to you right now because they're still processing things. What to say, how to say it. They still have these deep feelings for you, but they have deep regret, deep frustration within themselves. So let's see what they want to say to the karmic. Let's get three cards for them. One, two, three. And they all fell over like this, so I don't know what anything says. Bottom of the deck energy is, though, this is the hidden energy. I've learned everything I can from you in this situation. Now it's time for me to go. So your masculine has learned a lot from this karmic situation. They've seen some things, you know, on how to treat people. I'm hearing that they didn't get treated so well in this. They thought that things were good, and then when things got bad, things got really bad. I'm hearing cheating. I'm hearing, you know, exchange of, like, stuff, you know, STDs. I'm, I'm seeing so much stuff, you know. So much drama. I, I choose not to say too much more because this is a collective and not a personal, okay? If you would like to book a personal, go to JustStreamGuide.com, and there are very much so affordable prices there. Okay, so it also says, please don't blame yourself. It's not you. It's me. So Divine Masculine is recognizing and even taking accountability. I told y'all that. Not only for you, but towards this karmic. This, this masculine is transforming. He's letting the, the karmic know that, look, it's not you. It is me. I shouldn't have got you involved in this whole situation. Anyways, it says, you only want me for my money in this lifestyle. So Divine Masculine is seeing that too. They saw this a while ago, but they were trying to ignore it. Because they were trying to, you know... Just make something work because they felt needed. And now they feel used. I said this in the channel messages. They felt needed at first. Now they feel used by this person. And then it says, it's time for me to start again. So this masculine doesn't even want to be around this person anymore. They still might be, I'm hearing that they still might be, you know, having some roommate situations going on or... <clears throat> Or this masculine might be sleeping, uh, you know, at a friend's house or maybe with a family member or something like that because this this thing is over. I'm hearing that they're sorting out the last of the last things that need to be done. Excuse me. Almost like a divorce. I'm hearing divorce. Some of them have gotten into these heavy con commitments where they had to split up assets. Maybe a car, some clothes, some, some things that each other bought, electronics, things like that. They're going through like the rough part of a divorce. Some of them actually may be going through a divorce, okay? Your masculine might be actually going through a divorce as well. I just heard that as well. So let's see what your masculine wants to tell you that fail. I'm going to get four cards for you, Divine Feminine. What does your masculine want to tell you in their silence? Three. And then four. Bottom of the deck energy, it says... It's hard to be around you right now because of my responsibilities. Yes, as I said, they're probably going through a lot as far as splitting up some things, you know, getting some, some clear-cut boundaries when it comes to this karmic now, okay? It says, it destroys me that I have destroyed our love. So they are in reflection. 333, as I say that on the timestamp, 2333 is protection, okay? No matter what kind of spell work that was done to confuse this masculine or even to confuse you, Divine Feminine, any kind of spell work that was put on you, be it a karmic mother, karmic father, um, or a karmic family member or any of any sort. I'm also seeing maybe even the karmic sexual part that may have tried to do some spell work, you know, some magic, separation spells, beauty spells, chaos magic, swapping destinies, death magic, whatever the case may be. I saw a lot of that this year. That's why I'm saying all of the, the kind of stuff that I saw and that I'm seeing right now that your masculine is overcoming and it's really putting them into a reflection because they haven't felt like this in a while. All right. He says, I'm hoping that you will contact me. And I always tell y'all about this card because yes, they hope that you'll contact them, but are you strong enough to not get a reply? If you're strong enough to not get a reply, then okay that's up to you again that's your decision but if you're not strong enough to get ignored again because this is the person who's this is the masculine collective that this person has been ignoring you or they ghosted you or they blocked you in some sort of way and it hurts to be blocked so can you handle that again reaching out to them and they're not responding if you can't handle that then don't do it because at that point it's not saying that you're not healed it's just saying that this person is still not ready 
And you have to go in with the expectations that they're still not ready. They're still unavailable, all right? Emotionally unavailable. But they will be back soon because the love, the heart chakra has been activated. They can't resist the love that they have. So much love was in that last deck. So much love that they want to express now. But again, contacting them might complicate your emotions as well. What does it say? It says, I don't know what I want. That's what I need to work out. So your masculine is working out what they want to do next. And they will work it out because they, they're trying to figure out what they want out of life. They know they want you in it, but now they're losing a lot of things, a lot of material things. And now they're like, whoa, my life is changing before my eyes. What do I truly want out of life now? They know they want you in it, but then it's like, how? I can't bring them into my life and I don't have anything to offer. But they do, and you do. It's unconditional love, okay? And then it says, I look at your pictures to feel close to you. So your masculine has been in reflection. Again, they're looking at your pictures. They're, you know, reminiscing over your features, how you look. They're thinking about what you smell like. They're thinking about how you cook. I'm hearing cook. I'm hearing clean. I'm hearing whatever it is you do to make your masculine feel home. They're thinking about home. So that's what I have for you all. <laughs> I hope this information helped them. Let's, let's go to the last video for today, the last um, decks of cards for this whole entire love reading. Thank you so much for your time. As usual, thank you, thank you, thank you.